Thanks for watching! If you like this video, be sure to read The Tale of the Order of the Blue Maiden. It's a high flying adventure! Available now on Amazon, iTunes, Barnes and Nobles, and Kobo! Or go to thetale.com! You've never heard a tale like this! Hello, my lords and ladies, and everyone in between. I'm Lord Xerus. Welcome to my castle. You know, after a long, hard battle, I got really thirsty. The kind of thirst that can only be satisfied by a premium beverage. I'm in the mood for a fancy one. So today, we're going to taste test the fancy one. Two serious quality American brews. Coors Banquet and Miller High Life. One of them I think is the King of Beers, and the other one is the Champagne of Beers, I think. I don't know. Maybe one of them's the Prince, or the Duke, or, or there's like a Viceroy type of situation. Okay, so first up is Miller High Life. What is this? Is this a child-sized bottle? Look at the size of it. looks like it was made for a fifth grader. I mean, it, it looks like juice. I, I, I'm an adult, and I would think that this is juice. Yeah, yeah, I think this is apple juice. It's not? It's not apple juice? I, I, if you say so. I, I, I would be very tempted to drink this if I were a child. But don't! I'm being very clear, don't drink this if you're a child. This is for adults only. You know, I'm like 5,000 years old and I, I feel like this is juice. Seriously, tiny. Seriously. Like, this looks like apple juice. Right now it kind of tastes like grape juice a little bit. And why does this exist? I mean, is this for... Is this for tiny aliens? Is this for leprechauns? I don't, what, what is this for? I mean, is this for like elves and dwarves and tiny little pushing creatures that, that don't exist? I mean, who's gonna drink this beer? Tastes like, tastes like water if you blended bread into it. I think we're gonna have to go back to the store and get an adult sized bottle. I mean, no one's gonna take this seriously. All right, all right so here we got the adult sized bottle. Let's get that adult bottle in there. There, that's better. Don't drink beer, kids. Ah, uh, could someone get me a straw? Oh yeah, that's sure to please a lot of medieval reenactors, because you know, nothing says medieval reenactor like American beer. How to describe this? It's a, it's a little citrusy, uh, a little bready, a little acrid. This is like what you would taste between other beers. You know what I mean? Like so you could cleanse your palate. It's a little bit vanilla. It's a little bit plain. Uh, it's a little bit like Greek yogurt. Except, less of a kick. So what's the word I'm looking for? Immemorable. That's it. That's the one. Immemorable. Uh, this kind of tastes a little bit like amnesia. It's like lentil soup without lentils or spices or any other ingredients. No, no, no. It, it's like a very strong tea or a very weak kombucha. It tastes like currant soup and broken dreams. It tastes like broken cracker packages and sadness. Uh, it kind of tastes like water from the River Seine or from the River Thames. Well, actually, I've never tried either of those of you guys. A champagne of beers. If uh, champagne were made from toilet water. I would say it tastes like cat piss, but it, honestly, it's not that strong. Cat piss is a lot more kick to it. Or a lot more, uh, more memorable, if you will. Actually, I think that the little one tastes better. So next up is Coors. What is it called? Next up is Coors Banquet. I can't see the label. So now we're going to try Coors Banquet. This one's got a little chunky bottle. A little short round. Wow, this one really does taste like nothing. I mean, with that last one, I was kind of making a joke, but this one, nothing. Not even water, not air, not the empty vacuum of space. Literally nothing. It's like it's taking the flavor away from your mouth. It's like if the void had a flavor. I don't know, like not even the void of space, because I mean, even that has like space dust and radiation. I mean, like the release of death, if that had a flavor. Not even death, like. Like you never even existed in the first place. Alright. I'm about my about my my third bottle here. Still not getting anything. Mmm! That one's got more of a fat tire taste to it. And I mean I don't mean the beer, I mean a literal fat tire. A little bit nutty. Just like my Aunt Hilda. Are we sure this is even beer? I'm I'm pretty sure this is actually some kind of Lubricant. I think this is just watered down witch hazel. I actually think this is just pipe dope. I actually think this is just rubbing alcohol. Actually, rubbing alcohol would be a little bit stronger than this. Alright, could you get me my juice bottle back, please? I think this is just, like, uh, what you would get if you, like, took the blood out of someone with nut allergies. I think they just put the hops in the water and called it a day. 
Because this is not been fermented even. Actually, I think this is just water and you just think it's beer because the bottle is brown. So, in conclusion, I think we can all agree that they're both terrible. Drink something else. Okay, guys. Well, don't forget, no don't be afraid to suck. But in this case, not this beer, because it's not good. Do you have any wine? Get some wine. So today we're gonna be tasties. Tasties, tasties. Today we're gonna be tasties.